Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we will be talking about whether running watches are worth buying or not. So when you are looking to take your running to the next level, most people recommend buying a so-called running watch with the GPS most of them times. Uh, a running watch will show you how fast you're running, how long you've been running and your heart rate. And that's kind of the most basic features of a running watch. And if you've been looking on websites like Amazon, you will realize that these watches will cost you at least $200 uh, for kind of the cheapest models. Now, is a running watch worth the price? Now I'm going to be boring and say that it depends, because it really does. Not only on how much money you have, but also on how you are as a person. Now let me explain. A running watch will not make you suddenly run a lot faster nor will you suddenly improve your stamina. Well, that may not be entirely true, you may actually temporarily run slightly faster due to pure power or if you're very competitive with yourself, but, if you're ac but your actual fitness level is still the same as it was before, obviously. Something like a running watch is, as I said, uh, personal whether it will work for you or not. So let's take me as an example. I personally wanted a running watch to keep track on how fast I'm running, as well as measuring the distance I'm running. So I bought the Garmin 4Runner 2-5, which does just that, and I'm using it pretty much every time I go out running, except when I occasionally forget to charge it, like I have right now. As you can see, the battery indicator is on very low. And this is the Garmin 4Runner. This is what kind of the average running watch will look like. As you can see, it is very similar to a regular watch, of course. And it has a heart rate monitor on the back and just built-in GPS. I must say that this watch has worked very well for me. Uh, it's very reflect. The screen is very reflective, so I can't kind of... I have to put it like this or something. And uh, this watch has worked perfectly for me. I have improved my stamina and, you know, my pace by quite a bit since I bought the watch. And that's due to a few reasons. One of them being simply the fact that I can see the pace I'm running at, which means I can make sure I never drop below a certain pace. And the second reason being I'm very, uh, I'm a very competitive person. I want to compete, compete with myself and others. I want to constantly improve and uh, since I can see the distance, etc. while running, it makes, ease, it makes it easier to adjust and run faster during the run. And without a watch, you would have to measure a distance, then run that distance while starting a timer and then once you return home, check how fast you've been running. And I feel like that may be a bit too late because it's really difficult to remember how fast you were running the previous time and adjust that the next uh, workout, if that makes any sense. So if you are a competitive person and you're into running, then there's no real question about it. A running watch will most definitely work great for you. But what about people who do don't consider themselves to be very competitive? Will a running watch still be worth buying? Yes, in my opinion, I still believe it's very interesting for your personal, go personal growth as a runner to keep track of your workouts, meaning your pace, distance, run, etc. And it will truly help you out as a runner. But it is also worth mentioning that it can be a bit discouraging to see that you are not improving or you get stuck in one pace. And it becomes really obvious with a device like this. And it can also get tough because you start comparing yourself with others or your previous workouts in a negative way, which is not what you want. What I basically mean is that Run, both running and exercising starts to become something else than the workout itself and you start focusing about numbers instead. Something to keep in mind is that the most important thing by far is that you actually get out and exercise, with a running watch or not. And if you start focusing on a bunch of other things other than running, then I think you're kind of missing the point. Then you just have to try to leave that behind and just go on a run and just focus on that. Now, something I almost forgot to mention is, what about the casual runner? Kind of the person who goes out running, let's say, once or twice a week. Then is it worth it to buy a running watch? Well, if you are just starting out, starting to work out, then my best recommendation would be if you could get a chance to borrow a watch for from a friend or something. Because if you just, if you just started out running, then as I said, it can be a bit discouraging see that you're not performing very well and of course it's a very expensive thing to buy so you might quit running because you think you have to buy a, an expensive device like this but that is definitely not true i think that if you want to exercise three or more times a week 
let's say that, then it is definitely worth buying. Or if you want to get go out running once, once or twice a week, but you want to get really good quality out of your exercise and you are really aiming for results, then this is definitely worth buying. But as I said, if you are kind of a casual runner, then you should try to borrow one and just check it out for a while, for a few uh, workouts. And then something I must say, that if you decide to buy a running watch, then it can be kind of... But if you decide to buy an expensive watch and you're kind of the casual who doesn't go out that often to run, it can become kind of a thing that you know that you have bought this thing and you want to use it. Then that could be a reason for you mentally to go out running, which is great. And that is exactly what you want. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and listening, of course. I hope you enjoyed. Also, let me know your opinions about this subject in the comments below. Thank you for watching.